Good day, Fusers. Let's pay our phones with Centrifuse so that we can send and receive phone calls and wirelessly stream any audio we want directly into Centrifuse. So start off by going to System, Settings, then into the Bluetooth area. First, we enable Bluetooth and Auto Connect on the right. Auto Connect will allow Centrifuse to automatically connect your phone to the computer when you get into the car from here on out. When enabling Bluetooth, if you receive an error enabling Bluetooth alert, just try to enable it again. Sometimes the Bluetooth hardware takes a few seconds to activate when you first enter into Centrifuse. The next thing we're going to have to do is have Centrifuse search for our phone. But before we can do that, you're most likely going to have to set your phone into a discovery mode so that it will show up when we search. Its location will differ from phone to phone, but it will most likely be in your phone's system connectivity or Bluetooth menu. Once we have discovery mode active, click on the search for new phone button and wait a few seconds, sometimes up to a minute depending on your phone and Bluetooth device. So here's our phone. When we select it and click the pair button, you will be prompted to enter in a pairing code. First, we enter that code into Centrifuge and then a confirmation box on your phone will also pop up that will be asking you to enter in that same code. The code's really up to you, I just chose four zeros here. Once that same code is entered into both devices, Centrifuge and your phone, pairing will be successful. You can see here Centrifuge has your member at our phone. So going back to the home screen, you can see a blue Bluetooth icon signifying we are indeed connected and that our phone's signal strength is high. If you aren't connected yet, the Bluetooth icon will be gray and flashing. So that's that. Only about a minute of setup time and you're ready to make hands-free calls and stream audio to your computer from your cell phone.